Hello and welcome to another episode of Eric the Car Guy. This one is kind of a request in a roundabout way. I've had people inquire about fluctuating idles on Hondas in particular, and the first thing I tell them to check is whether or not there's air in the cooling system. Uh, and you do this by using the method that I'm about to show you. Other symptoms also include an overheat problem, also no heat through the vents when you've got the heat on. These may all be symptomatic of air in the cooling system and this is how you get it out. Also, if you've performed any kind of repair on the cooling system, like say you replaced a radiator or uh, opened up the cooling system for whatever reason, in this particular case I replaced the radiator and did the timing belt, uh, you want to perform this 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 uh, procedure and the reason for it is so that you don't experience the symptoms that I just described. Of course there are other causes to those problems but this is the first place to check it's the easiest thing to look for. If you do have significantly low coolant you want to check to see where that coolant went or if once again you just performed a repair this is what you do. Without taking up too much more of your time here's the video. Number one on our list of things to do is to turn the heater on high yes what's he talking about Turn the temperature control all the way to hot and turn the fan off. This one is broken, so it's useless. <laughs> These have a tendency to break. All you do is replace this part. And make sure that the little metal piece that may stay on here, make sure you take that off before you put a new one on. But anyway, we want to turn this all the way to hot. I'm going to go get a pair of pliers. And this goes to the off position. All the way to hot. Okay, the first thing to do, is you notice back here, by the throttle and all that stuff, you'll see a bleeder. 12 millimeter head on it. You want to loosen that bleeder. Next thing to do, is get yourself one of these. This thing is great. It's a funnel that goes onto the cooling system. There are different sized uh, attachments. For different radiators. There's even one with an angle on it. Say you're working on some General Motors product. Uh, some Fords have that too. But the thing just goes in just like that. And it's a nice funnel. I have pre-mixed stuff here. Remember our friend the bleeder valve? When you get to a point where the cooling system is full, you'll see that. When you see that, tighten it back down. Now I'm going to finish topping off the radiator and also the reservoir. When the reservoir doesn't get filled all the way up to the top, there's usually some kind of marking or line on the side. In the interest of not asphyxiating myself, now that the car has coolant in it, I'm going to start it up and back it up towards the front of the shop. Okay, that noise you were hearing was uh, ABS pump. Now, Remember how I told you you wanted to turn the heat on hot, but not the fan on? Uh, the reason for that is so that uh, the coolant will circulate through the heater core. Uh, there's a special valve that is connected to the HVAC system that turns hot coolant going through the heater core off when the air conditioning is on. But this way, if it's all the way on hot, then the coolant should circulate. Now we're going to run the car at about 2500 RPM until the cooling fans come on and then let it idle and we're going to top off the coolant one last time in the radio. Here's another tip if you don't want to uh, hold the throttle on the whole time. You can't stay inside the car and do this, but you can use a pair of needle nose vice grips to hold the throttle open on this car. fan just got through running. The 
We're gonna top that off. Check the temperature gauge. It's right about where it should be. Well, I hope this video was helpful in helping you solve uh, perhaps some of your issues involving a cooling system. It's not just Hondas I do this with. I do this on all cars. I just want to make sure that my cooling system is full of coolant and doesn't have any air in it. If it does have air in it, you can have some problems as a result. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, you can post them as text or video responses below. Or if you feel so inclined, you can visit me at ericthecarguy.com. There's a link over in the sidebar. Uh, in addition to just above that sidebar, there's a little yellow button that says subscribe. I'd love it if you did that. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I can't really think of anything else to say, so stay dirty.